Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've got a question here. Uh, came in on the email from Chiradeep. I hope I'm saying that right. He says, hello, I am Chiradeep. I'm from India. Photography is my hobby. You can find pictures of me. Uh, uh, you can find pictures captured by me at, and he's got a link to his Flickr, which is backslash photos, backslash Chiradeep underscore S. So if you folks want to have a look, feel free. Uh, I've been watching videos of your channel and am pretty impressed with your knowledge and clear opinion on lots of diverse subjects regarding photography. I use the Nikon D5100 uh, for landscape, waterscape photography, and use my smartphone camera in street photography. I am considering buying a G7X Mark II. I know that you like it very much. I have no doubt about its capability, but what I really want to know is how good is it in dusty conditions. I'm going to use it as a street photography camera in very dusty environment. Not a desert or a beach, but dusty roads. Will there be a problem of entering dust inside the camera lens affect the sensor? Uh, I would appreciate your opinion. Uh, any opinion you can provide on this matter, best regards. Well, thank you for your question. And it's an interesting one because, um, well, I'm going to throw it back out to our audience in a minute. But I'll give you my thoughts on this. Uh, I do like the G7X Mark II, um, but I liked it more as a uh, vlogging camera, which is one of the reasons this camera is very popular online and uh, a lot of people use it. So if you're just using it as a general photography camera, I'm thinking A, perhaps there are better options, uh, and B, I would have issues with um, being concerned anyways about dust. I went through the specs and again on the Canon site because I wanted, I was curious about that. I've never really thought about using it in a very dusty environment. My immediate thoughts on almost any type of camera like that, that unless it's actually specced as, you know, a tough rugged camera and weather sealed, um, a camera like that is probably going to be prone. Now, there's a lot of delicate parts in a very small camera like that that has a folding collapsible lens that moves in and out every time you turn it on or off. And I'm not even sure the concern really is that the dust is going to get into the, onto the sensor through the lens as you might have a concern in the DSLR. You know, some long zooms are known to create a, a sucking effect, if you will. When you zoom them, they pull in air and they're known to get the sensor dirty. And that also can be a problem when you're switching lenses on a DSLR. This is an entirely different type of problem that is one that I would be concerned about. And that is more the delicateness of these type of cameras. For instance, uh, you know, you could drop... And people have, you'll see reports of that, you know, drop a DSLR with a lens on it and do minimal damage or no damage at all. I mean, sometimes you'll have a bad drop and you'll break it, but, you know, people have dropped them and not really damaged them. These type of cameras, if you drop a G7X Mark II, it's a, it's a lot more fragile, any of these small cameras are, in my opinion, than a, G, a DSLR with a, a, a lens on it. Um, not that you want to drop either. But there's, it's just a lot more finer machinery and computer wizardry and whatnot in those little cameras. And I would be concerned uh, in a very dusty environment that when you're turning that on and off and the lens is coming in and coming out and coming in and coming out, that the motors that drive that are going to get clogged with that fine dust, that that fine dust is going to get in the pathways where the lens elements travel I can just see so many areas where that dust could cause a problem. And so, yes, I would be concerned about it. Am I saying for sure it's going to be a problem? No, because I haven't shot in extremely dusty environments for any length of time with a camera like that or the G7X Mark II. Although, logically to me, it would seem that that would be an issue. That's why I want to throw it back out to you guys. Any of you used a G7X Mark II or any other camera like a G7X Mark II that when you turn it on, it's a small pocket camera and it has a, a, a folding or collapsible retracting lens that comes out, comes back in. Have you used a, a camera like this that isn't specced for weather sealing and dusty environments? How is it, how's it handled it? Has, it? has it survived? Have you had problems? What have the problems been? Have you done it and had no problems? Let us know in the comments below. Again, doesn't have to be the G7X Mark II, but a similar style of camera. Uh, let's help out Chiradeep. As I said, my concerns are they, yes, that would be an issue. But I'd like to see if any of you have actually been in that exact situation and how the camera fared. Did it have problems? Did it not? What camera was it? Let us know. Looking forward to hearing your feedback. Let's help out Chiradeep. Thanks for your question and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.